have to take them. That's interesting. Yes. Where it's like yeah, I can yeah. I can cherry pick the part. Like, let's deconstruct Pathfinder and then into stick feats. it all back and into feats and powers, and you just well, because the because they want. took they made a bunch of extra powers and basically said those powers are equivalent to feats because each power each group of powers had take a feat as a power that you could take once. I think that's logical. You could also reverse that rule and just kind of redo yeah, it for Pathfinder one if you bit. wanted. But uh... so far, it looks like it looks like there's got some stuff that should be fun. Well, the edition, uh, the economy of action is what uh, I don't know if there's a um, monk class preview. Ooh. Yeah, the key description is weird. Monks choose whether the, the key ability score is strength or dex. All right. So they feel that melee ca or martial characters are underpowered is one of the comments here about the balance between spellcasters and martial classes. Um, so they feel that there's still linear fighter uh, quadratic wizard. It's still linear fighter exponential mage. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they're... Uh, Feats of skill. Uh-oh. Oh, they're trying to. Oh, they're, uh, they're trying to uh, make certain that uh, wizard spells diminish in utility over time. Yes, you're always taking the new level of spell. Right, so you're not going. Web is my best this spell. Grease is my best that spell. Glitter dust is my best this spell. You're not like getting haste, glitter dust, grease, web on pretty much every caster. Uh, feats of skill. Second edition skills and how they work. It's time to look at the goodies you earn as you level up skill feats. Every character gets at least 10 skill feats. One at every even numbered level. The rogues get 20. Let's take a skill feat instead of a general feat. Okay, skill feats are the special things you can do when you... They started wandering into skill feat territory with the uh, skill... The, ar the Unchained Arcana or whatever it was called. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And then conditions. What do they do with those? See what condition my condition's in. What condition my condition's in. Quentin Tarantino's cutting your ear off right now. Weird shit. Uh, in one direction, you know, any long-lasting effect can impose <laughs> a condition on a character. These conditions might be defined by a spell or spell-like abilities. A lot of this is coming from the good things they found with Unchained Arcana. Yeah, so, Drakester, they did the same thing with uh, the end of 3.5, uh, where they made um, Marshall something. What was the name of that book? The seven uh, nine blades or the yeah the they did a, they did a martial one and an arcane one mm. where they basically converted those classes and they did a rogue one first um, where they did like rebuilds and then they used those rebuilds to make fourth now to put it politely fourth was a steaming pile of garbage um, no that's... no it's not a dish anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was a steaming pile of garbage. <laughs> it it was wow on a table like, in terms right. of like the every, like every move had a template they'd have to put down every single move. I want to swing my sword. Okay, are you doing the line attack? Or are you doing an L attack? Or are you doing a burst with your sword? Um, bullshit. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> I mean, I I made two characters in fourth. I tried to play a healer, and there was no fucking point because everybody heals. There's Everyone no, could take a knee and go. Yep, I'm good. Yep, I'm good. And then the one I played was a fighter, and it was like, just a, felt like a waste of my time. And then, and then we played one session afternoon. I think it was me and Adam a while back playing fifth ed, and we're like, yeah, yeah okay, but, well, so where fourth was like 
I had to learn a whole bunch to even play the game, and then I'm like, this is fucking garbage. And like, when Adam is doing his normal, I want to figure out kind of what my character does, or do some crafting or whatever. Like, it's like there's there's no ability to do that. Everybody just does that based on their level. Like, uh, okay. Um, whereas in fifth, I like their 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 economy. Um, the action of economy, like the you do a movie, do a thing, and it's like really simple. Learned it really fast. Started playing, and then went, yeah, this is great. This is like if I had to play with the uh, if I had to play, I shouldn't phrase it that way. Uh, I've played 3.5 with my wife. I haven't played Pathfinder with my wife. Um, if I was going to play a new system with my wife, I would play fifth because it's just easy, and I'm yep. I'm the only one taking care of the rules anyway, right? So I'd use fifth. Pathfinder has some crunch to it. It has some nuance, and it has some ways where you can turn things on its side in pleasant ways. Like, we still, co to this day, come up with combinations that we somehow have missed. Like, tonight was blur, blur. equals stealth. We're like, huh? Really? Re I, hey, that can't I guess be right. <laughs> hey, look, that's right. Really? I well, gave okay, myself no concealment. And then, and then, I, then I hide. It gives you, like, the predator style, where when you're moving yep. around, you can see through it. <laughs> come on, yeah. I'll give me a predator. I would wake up and do the pain voice. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> <laughs> nice. There we go. Hey, it is opa. something that I cannot do. Hey. Everybody. The ha. The ha. Uh, the ha. I, I'm hoping that if that is here in Simplicity and Pathfinder is here, that Pathfinder 2 is somewhere in the middle. I will, yeah, I'd like it to go like 20%. I don't want it to be in the middle. I want it to go. Like I'm, I'm looking twenty percent that way, just to make it a little bit more approachable, but not a little, as I, a little bit more approachable. And I'd, I would like, with my big stupid nerd brain, to never have to look at the combat maneuver section again, because they tried, and by God, they tried, and still you have to check every single time you use a combat maneuver, unless you're using it every single fight. Because the rules are different for each one, so you still have to look at each one because they're not you the same. It's, you different. know what's easier now, though? Like, when we started playing 3rd Edition, there was no SRD for the 3rd Edition online, and now there is, so I'm yeah. not so worried about having to look things up. It does slow things down a little tiny bit, but... Um, yeah, yeah I, I would like to, to, to limit the amount of interaction with the... Uh, um, with the website. With the website. Which in our first couple of games is going to be like every single thing is going to be us reading and looking things up. But how quickly we can we can like get over that curve is part of the. So uh... just as a as a thing, uh, there is this. I might end up playing from either a, like uh, Beijing or from Taiwan at some point in the next. I don't know. Let's say one year. Um, Previously, we were able to do Beijing without too many difficulties. We just had to fiddle with that one port number. And I think we still use the same fiddled port number, so it should be fine. Mm -hmm. Like, we never filled it back. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, and so that should be okay. Uh, Twitch? For me, when I was I was trying to connect to Twitch this last time I was there, I was having... Uh, the Twitch ch chat worked, but the Twitch stream part didn't work. Mm-hmm. So, and then if the Twitch chat doesn't work, then I'll have to use, like, VC chat or something to, to, to bang rolls out. Oh, um, how long are you going to be there? Or are you, like, living there? No, I, I won't be living there again. Oh. Uh, it, it will be, uh, I might be there for as much as two weeks. We'll just have to do your die rolls for you. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's basically the, I don't, I don't want to change the rolling setups or the systems, I'm just. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, this is a good place to leave it. Ahmed's, uh, Ahmed's passing out. Um, Ahmed's and it was a good game. Good, good hanging out with you guys. Looking forward to fun. Pathfinder playtest and uh, continuing this campaign. I'm still having a lot of fun with the gladiators. They're all the masters are about seventh or sixth level, which is actually much slower than in previous campaigns. Like game thirty, you guys were probably uh, um, much further than that. Uh, well, we get, we are now actually masters. The only like gladiator that we're afraid of right now is the treant. Because <laughs> every other gladiator we got to end up in Magnus can uh, chop Zargon. that tree to bits. And Zargon. <laughs> True, Magnus can chop that tree to bits. But that tree with four attacks, a lucky crit, and a couple of swings. When we started, Magnus wasn't the strongest person in the room. Yeah. 
right? Like, <laughs> I'm now, I'm looking we, at I'm looking forward yeah. to the crossovers. Like, like I have plans. There is this neat plot line with the uh, with the other guys and the uh, uh, the other Road of Sorrow, and then there's the um, uh, the crossover between how these two Ludises are going to like interact. Are they going to join? Are they going to be rivals? Like, I think that is still juicy to figure out what what's going on. But there are still like uber plot lines like remember how marty creates this thing he creates the immediate thing and then has an idea for something really big at the end and then the rest of it is just stuff you fill in week to week wait a sec marty are you telling me that when you make stories you have to have arcs and character paths at least somewhat plotted out so that the story is coherent over time i don't think i've plotted out everyone's character path because i don't know who this is a game where if one or two of the masters die the plot line continues this well, is this is not a game where it's like these are the four adventurers oops you know one of them goes away so well yeah no it, it's it's not on the, at the character level I, so the reason why i've talked about this is because i i like i've watched like every movie um but i was on in this week, I had 40 hours of flights. Like, I was on planes for 40 hours, not including getting on planes, getting off planes, all that I crap. finally saw Deadpool 2 while I was on my work trip. It, Deadpool 2 is enjoyable, fun, not amazing, but it's enjoyable and fun. It, the first one was much better, but yeah. yeah. Well, it, and part of it is because the first one was much better through its novelty, and then it pushed some pulp, uh, pop culture limits a little bit more effectively. And apparently they cut a big chunk of stuff out that they, they didn't want to touch. So they, they had to rewrite a bunch of jokes. Um, so I'd like to see those jokes beforehand. Two, two has cable in it, doesn't it? Two, yeah, two has cable in it. And there's some really funny jokes about Midget Cable because that actor is like four inches shorter than Ryan Reynolds and in the comic books, Dead, uh, Deadpool's like two feet shoulder, shor- shorter yeah, than Cable. Than Cable, yeah. yeah. Um, it, was, it was interesting, whatever. I, I It was an enjoyable movie. But I like re-watched all the new Star Wars stuff looking for anything that makes it valid oh man like, let it's... me count the ways so i sat down with my buddy and we talked about he was arguing like that the last jedi was a decent movie and i'm like oh, no. no it is it is one of the worst so far it, it is as a movie it is the worst star wars like you have to go to the like the ewok christmas special to get something that's on par with how poorly that's written. Uh, there, So we went through the list and we came up with like 12 reasons why that movie, like 12 things we didn't like about that movie and maybe three things that we did. And I'm pretty sure if you did that exercise with all the other Star Wars, this is one of the worst Star Wars. Oh yeah. And, and yeah. Solo was actually a fun movie. Solo is supposed to be quite good. But I, I, I I'm think not, people I'm not are, I think, yeah, I, th- I think people are um, fatigued after <laughs> the last Jedi and having their childhood pooped on a little bit, because <laughs> yep. because because Luke was not Luke, man. Like that was yep. not even Ben Kenobi. Like that that's not oh Luke turned into kind of Ben Kenobi. That's pretty cool. No, nope. it was a fucking dick. He was just an ass, some asshole. Luke turned into a useless <laughs> dick who didn't train, do any training. There was no training that got done. There was no training. There was no training. The training was because Ray you don't does need not. Ray does not need training. Yeah, Ray does not need training. It's just all gone. Boom. It's the the, the warp the warp the warping the warping into the into the ship. Destroy the entire cannon. I, why didn't you just you know all those big ass ships that blew up and fucking fighting the Death Stars? Both Death Stars. Why didn't they just? Or Star Killer Base, <laughs> right? Uh, well, yeah, that too. Like, just get uh, a bunch of ships and warp them into there. Just get a bunch of them, warp light them speed in. them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, in a shared universe, you're supposed to be able to, you know, like adhere to the laws of the universe. Yep. It's like going, oh, yeah. "He man and the masters of the universe." He pulls out his sword and gets the power, and then you know, they just shit all over that. And some future one, they're like, "Nah, he doesn't have to do that anymore." You know, after yep. like five movies of him doing it uh, the, and not explaining why and not explaining why no it's it's well no the, the explanation for why at least the 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 writer director's twitter explanation to why was she's the first person who thought of it yeah then how if they were the first person that thought of it why did why did the um 
why did the commanders on the opposing vessel all figure it out right before they got blown up? Yeah, they went, what? She's doing Yeah, she's what? turning around, and they're like, no, don't turn around our general direction. It was like, okay, yeah. so they know. Well, then you know, why no, didn't they that's come? That's just your sloppy writing, and this is what happens if you do a writer-director and let him work by himself. Like, like, so. <laughs> like, like <laughs> Raspberry. So that raspberry. is... That and and, and we, we haven't even started scratching, like... Oh no! The... Yeah, yeah, no, there's, 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 yes, there's, there's. I, I, I can get more than a list of twelve things that are that are bad. But what absolutely shocks me with how good it stands up is Batman versus Superman. The um, uh, the original. I watched new... that one within the last couple of weeks too. Man of Steel, Batman versus Superman, and Justice League the movie. I watched all three of them in the last. I watched. I watched all three of them. I watched all three of them in the last twenty-four hours. <laughs> I didn't um, mind them. So I started out thinking, uh, and not, and then not minding them. And I go back to them and I watch them and I'm rewatching them. And some of them I've been watching for like, you know, this is the fifth time I've seen the movie type thing. And it's still like, that's good. I forgot about that scene. That actually plays out really nice. As long as you understand that, like, the new Batman is a psycho. Like, he's the psycho Batman? Just count how many people Batman murders in those movies, and you're like, yeah, he's, of course he's going to kill Superman. I'm not going to kill Superman, because he's talking about his names and the same name as my mama's name is the only reason I won't murder Superman. Yes, because he's a fucking psycho, and that's the universe. Batman is a psycho. Like, he is, he is more criminal than he is, like, crime fighter. Um, Guys, I'm going to have to call it. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I just I stonewalled. So, anyways, I, I, those movies hold up really well. I'm really shocked at how actually good they are. Um, I re rewatched Dark Knight Rising, the one with Bane. Dark Knight yes. Rising, yes. Dark Knight Rising. <laughs> I enjoy I enjoyed that movie. That, that one was good. The Christopher Nolan Batman's are also yep. good. Yep. It's just the, the Christopher Nolan Batman is not the same thing as the um. Oh, who's the director? Some guy. The, this the new Batman. The Ben Affleck Batman is not the same as Christian Bale Batman. Yeah, they're, they're... new new Ben Affleck Batman's a little a little crazier. He's he's darker and he's like well he, he sh in he shoots in people. his he shoots people. He pulls out the gun and he shoots people. He's like ah oh, fuck it, and then he pulls out the giant machine gun. Like he's got the big du dual Gatling gun on the front of his jet, yeah, yep. and he's like blowing up trucks and shit. Ah, don't you, worry, you, you know how you can take most superheroes and put them on the alignment grid. <laughs> You know, Batman cold cocking Robin, you know, is like the chaotic evil version. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, funny. All right. Good place to leave it. Good night, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this as much as we do. Uh, peace. And we will play hopefully sometime this week. Peace. Peace. Good night, guys. Okay.